Pennington is our uh, TV critic from the St. Louis Post Dispatch. Good morning, Gail Pennington. Good morning, McGraw. Good morning, Kelly. Good Miss morning, you guys. Gail. You, you, you were you. you were in Los Angeles for what? The upfronts? Is that what the uh, lingo no, is? The upfronts are in May in New York. This was the T- this was TCA, the TV Critics Association Summer Press Tour. Aha! Uh-huh. So it was a summer mm. press junket, if you will. Not a junket. We pay my way. Junkets are freebies. Oh, oh. freeloaders. Good to know. <laughs> Those are the elected officials down in Jefferson City. I apologize. Right. Exactly. Okay. Good. Fair <laughs> enough. All right. So while there. Um, you learned a couple of interesting things. You learned the truth about the tell-all, full-house, undocumented or unauthorized TV movie of the week. Well, I did get to uh, a chance to ask John Stamos about that. Aha! Uh-huh. Because he has a new show on Fox this fall called Grandfathered, which he plays a man who learns he has a son he never knew he had, and the son has a daughter, so he's a grandfather. Aha! Uh-huh. Um... And John Stamos is also going to be in Fuller House a couple of times. That's the Netflix sequel mm. to Full House. Aha. Uh-huh. Hmm. But, but we ask him if those Olsen twins were really as obnoxious as we've heard when they were babies, and he said yes. <laughs> <laughs> so much so, did he not say that he tried to move to get him kicked off the show? Um, except that it was pointed out that... that um, they just have to get more babies, and they'd be just as bad. Oh. Right, they're babies. <laughs> yeah. did, did he apologize for his mullet back in the 80s and the 90s? <laughs> I think he's apologized for that many, many times. So so Lifetime is having the uh, unauthorized full house story. Yes, it is, um, what is it, Saturday night? Saturday night, 7 p.m. Saturday night. <laughs> uh, you know, I did that before. Yes. On one of those other, say, 80s shows. What was it? What was it, Kelly? I know you watched the, the, uh, um, They had another unauthorized? The unauthorized. Uh, was it Family Ties? Um, was it, it was Saved by the Bell. Saved by uh, the Bell. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, it's That's good living on a Saturday night right there. Mm-hmm. The unauthorized full house story. Uh, all right. What's this What's this um, mock of uh, Real Housewives? What's this story all about? You know, it is, it is very hard for me to talk about the hot wives of Las Vegas because we had a panel with those people and it was like eight women and two female producers and they all had quite high pitched voices and they all talked at the same time for 30 minutes and I thought my brain was going to melt and run out my ear sounds like John Carney's radio show (laughs) <laughs> does, that, does it do that to you? <laughs> but you th- here's the thing, though. I love Casey Wilson. Uh, I do, too. I love Casey Wilson. Angela I Kinsey's. I like Angela Kinsey's. Yes. Angela on The Office. Yes. I am not a huge fan of the really broad, loud satires that sort of feel like a Saturday Night Live sketch gone on too long. Mm. Which mm-hmm. are most Saturday Night Live sketches. <laughs> where people wear silly wigs and have silly names. So, but but this is a spoof of Real Housewives. And, it, and you know, I don't even quite know how to ex- I explain it. They had the uh, Hot Wives of Orlando last year with the same people in it, and now these are the Hot Wives of, of Las Vegas. And But the, it's the same people playing them, and they're going to pick up as if it was just a continuation of the first season, even though it's in a new place and they have new names. I mean, isn't isn't Real Housewives sort of a parody of a parody to begin with? Yeah, I mean, they're so it's so unreal anyway, you know, and they're they kind of spoofy. Name for shows like The Real Housewives that are not rea- reality, but are not scripted either. They're called soft scripted, which means that they, <laughs> they, they there's a script, but but people then improvise during it. Soft scripted. I like Soft that. Mm-hmm. I like that. It makes it sound so sweet. And yes. Good, doesn't it? Yeah, as opposed to fake. Yeah. Soft scripted. Right. Unreal. Was, it, was there anything from this Los Angeles trip that you thought, wow, that's really good? Season two of Fargo. Oh. Oh. When's that coming really? up? When's that coming up? It's coming up really soon, and I can't tell you the date because my mind is still scrambled eggs. But, um,. I'll be. I'll have a big story about it at the time, and I also um, got to talk to Noah Hawley, who's the creator and writer of it. He told me the Cohen brothers, who okayed it before he started and right. read his first script and said, "You know, this is really good. It feels like you're channeling us." Right. Never 
never said another word. They, he, to his knowledge, they didn't watch it. Didn't watch it. Don't know anything about William it. William H Macy didn't watch it. Francis McDormand didn't watch really? it. Really? Starts of the original movie. I think they're afraid to. Yeah. But it's so. It was so good. And season two is going to be really good too. It's set in the seventies. It's a prequel, but not really a prequel. It just spins off of something that was mentioned in the first one. Patrick Wilson stars. Any the so same? Is, wait a minute. Wait, hold on. Dean still in it then? Yeah. Any actors from the first series? No. None. Oh, uh, no, wow. but it's a huge. The cast of this one is incredible. Ted All right. Danson is Ooh. in it, and mm. yeah, it's gonna ma, it's gonna really be good. Because uh, True Detective from from HBO tried to do that, and it yeah, I know it bombed. Uh, I have seen the first one of Fargo, and it's great. And mm-hmm. FX is sending three more. So I'll really have a good idea about it before mm. I write about it. All right. Before we let, let you go, two more things. The great food, food truck race makes a stop in St. Louis. They've come here before, and um, this year they're following uh, Old Route 66. And I know they were here because they, they people talked about it after the fact. You know, they never let me know about this stuff from right. here. I'd give them free publicity. <laughs> uh, or you, <laughs> for heaven's sake. Um but, yes, it's then going to be the next to the last stop in the season, which right. will have been ended in Chicago. But it starts next Sunday on the Food Network. And that's I Food Network. a uh, competition show I really like. Yeah. the Well, I love the uh, food trucks, the whole concept and the whole that. idea. Uh, lastly, before we let you go, were you out there when they announced that Sesame Street is now going to be on HBO? Yes. How, how did that um, It. Well, oh, here's the problem. Um, Sesame Workshop was almost broke. Yeah. It's very expensive to do Sesame Street. They don't can't sell advertising. Uh, they're on PBS, so they get almost no money. They get a, t- a tiny, like two dollars a year from the federal government. Um, they they had to do something, or Sesame Street was going to go away. They made a five year deal with HBO that it will be on HBO first. They're going to make twice as many episodes. It'll be on HBO first, and then it'll be on on PBS nine months later. I heard or read that children who watch Sesame Street, two thirds of them watch it on a streaming device. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> so they're not even watching PBS anymore. They're watching it on their streaming device. Well, and think about this: you show a three-year-old an episode of Sesame Street, and they're enchanted by it. Do you think they know it's from today or from nine months ago? Or from 20 years ago. Right. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I think it's a good de- I think it's a really good deal. For Is it, it going to be the same, Sesame though? Street. What? Are they going to fancify it up since they're going to have more no, money? No, it's be exactly the same. It's going to be produced by, by Sesame Workshop, just as it always has been. I heard... It'll just be twice as much of it. I heard Oscar's ho- holding out for more money now. <laughs> <laughs> big Bird they gotten too big for his britches. They Detective Season 2. I hope they do. <laughs> there you go. All right, Gail Payton, when can we read you? When can we see you? I'll be in the Friday Go section and Sunday A&E. All right. Uh, Gail, have yourself a good week, and uh, welcome back to St. Louis. Bye, guys. Bye, Gail. 8.30, Big 550, KTRS.